Epilepsy is a group of neurological disorders characterized by wide range of seizures. It is the fourth most common neurological disorder, next only to migraine, stroke, and Alzheimer's disease. It affects people of all ages, and approximately 50 million people currently live with epilepsy worldwide. Epilepsy can take a toll on one's safety, relationships, work, driving, self-image, and much more. Unfortunately, it is associated with social stigma and public misunderstandings of epilepsy cause challenges that are often worse than the disease itself. People with epilepsy are at an increased risk of death, which is between 1.6 and 4.1 fold greater than that of the general population. Genetic components are believed to be involved in the majority of cases. If one of the identical twins is affected with epilepsy, there is a 50 to 60 percent chance that the other would also be affected. Epilepsy may occur due to brain tumor, stroke, head injury, and infection of the central nervous system. Severe brain injury is associated with seven-fold increase in the risk of epilepsy. Infection with the pork tapeworm is the cause of up to half of epilepsy cases in areas of the world where the parasite is common. Those who consume six units of alcohol per day have a two-and-a-half-fold increase in risk. Other potential risk factors of epilepsy include birth injury, Alzheimer's disease, multiple sclerosis, and cerebral palsy. About 60% of seizures are convulsive in which the body stiffens, followed by vigorous shaking of the limbs. The patient may suffer with tongue bite, frothing from mouth, and incontinence. After the shaking has stopped, it may take 10 to 30 minutes for the person to return to normalcy. In absence of seizures, the patient gives a blank stare and the ongoing activity is abruptly halted. About 6% of those with epilepsy have seizures that are often triggered by specific events, such as sudden noise and flashing of light. Certain types of epilepsies make the patient hallucinate and evoke sudden feelings of anger, anxiety, happiness, or euphoria. Electroencephalogram is the standard test of choice for diagnosis of epilepsy. Diagnostic imaging by CT and MRI of brain is recommended to detect structural problems in and around the brain. In children, additional tests may be required such as urine biochemistry, genetic analysis, and blood investigations specific for metabolic disorders. Epilepsy cannot usually be cured, but anti-epileptic medication can control seizures effectively in about 70% of cases. In the high-risk patients, medication may be started immediately after the first seizure. In drug-resistant cases, different treatment options may be looked at, including a special diet, the implantation of a neurostimulator, or brain surgery. Positive effects of lifestyle modification play a crucial role in disease management for patients with epilepsy. For more information about list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.